Hey folks, Kevin here. Well, it's August 1st, 2018, and a video that I tried creating in the past that I never uh, posted because it was underexposed was what's the best structure to grow your vape, grapevines on or uh, fruit producing vine species uh, on your homestead or in your, your garden areas. So uh, I'm going to show you what I think is the best growing structure for grapevines. So recently I posted a video uh, featuring these uh, Concord grapes that are grown on this two wire system. So it's uh, two galvanized 3 8 inch uh, diameter uh, wires that are uh, suspended. One's about three foot off the ground and one's about six foot off the ground. And that's how we're growing our, our grapevines. I really like this system a great deal and, the, and one of the reasons is that it's so easy to, to access and observe. So I was able to detect the, uh, the black rot pretty much right off the bat as soon as I came up and took a look at the grapevine and, uh, it's, and be able to detect it and do appropriate intervention as well. So having on a, on a two uh, wire or single wire trellis, I think is really, really, really easy to access. And it's easy to, uh, to have closer observation and be able to detect something when it's first beginning to show its ugly fe features. Be able to detect pests on them more easily, be able to see are there, are there signs of fungal disease, and it's much easier to go ahead and put a bird net over if you're worried about the birds coming in, uh, taking your, your potential harvest as well. So let's go to another location. Okay, these aren't exactly vines, but this is another plant species or crop that we grow here on site. And these are thornless uh, semi-erect blackberries. We grow the triple crown and the uh, chesters. And uh, using this two wire uh, with T-post system works extremely well. And this wire that we're using is just electric fence wire. So we string that down, we can tie the plants up to them. Uh, after their third year, they become much more erect, get really good, uh, strong uh, primocanes and fluorocanes that'll stand up pretty erect. But Still in this site, because the white-tailed deer come in, grab a hold of them and pull them apart, uh, having them with the two wires makes it a little bit more of a challenge for the deer to really do much destruction to them. And we do tend to share our berries with, with the wildlife here as well. And I know this isn't a vining species, but the semi-erect varieties can act like vines because if we don't prune them, they can really travel long, long distances. Let's go check another plant species out. All right, here we are near the house. House is right there. And this is a pergola that I built uh, three or four years ago now. And these are hardy kiwis, uh, another vining species. We have a male plant and a female plant on this. And uh, when I first put this in, I, 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 I thought of the pergola as being the best location for uh, putting this vining, vining species there. Uh, because I like pergolas, I like their, uh, you know, the shade that they cast below the pergola, and uh, and I think they're a nice feature on your property. However, being able to examine uh, the the kiwis or be able to pick them and harvest them, and prune the plants is much more ch challenging with this pergola. So would I do it again with a pergola? Uh, yes, if I wasn't so interested in harvesting the fruit from it. But no, if, if my main goal was to be more productive and harvest as much fruit as possible. Let's take a look at another pergola. So here's another one of the pergolas that I built around the same time that I built the uh, kiwi pergola. So the kiwi pergola is really just three of these pergolas put together. So these are made out of six by six pressure treated posts. The posts are six feet apart. I'd make them eight, eight feet apart if I were to do this again because my mower is a six foot wide mower and I could get more easily in all directions. And you see it's all bolted together with two by sixes, uh, two different rows going, purple, uh, going parallel in predict, uh, perpendicular uh, settings. And then I have on the very top there, I have two by fours that I split down the center and basically I left equal spacing. So it's basically 
they're, we'll call them uh, two by twos, they're actually one and three quarters by one and three quarters. Uh, and, but there's basically two inch spacing between each one of those boards as well. So that can make it challenging if you really want, if you're going to have grapevines on that. And there's two new grapevines planted down here. Our first two didn't survive, so I planted two more grapevines this year. Let's go across the bridge and look at the, the other pergola where the, uh, sorry about the sun getting to my back here. So here's another grapevine behind me on this pergola. And uh, unfortunately, this one has black rot on it as well because we've had those high humidity, it's a fungal disease, we've had the high temperatures and high humidity. And it was more challenging for me to get to it and examine these, these grapes and the leaves uh, because it's up there high. It's eight foot off the ground. And the narrowness of the slats, the slots in between each one of those boards that fit on the top of the pergola that I talked about, the, the split two by fours, it's so narrow that the vine really doesn't uh, hang down very much and allow the clusters of grapes or the leaves to be seen so easily. And it'd be much more challenging to put a bird net over these pergolas as well. Although they aren't that big, but for one person you'd need a larger size uh, uh, bird netting to put over it and it'd be more of a challenge to take off and put on. So what do I think is the best uh, structure for growing grapevines if you want to have them predominantly for yourself and you want to take care of them over time and intervene early on during a disease process and detect it early and to protect them from the birds harvesting them. I'd say the, uh, the basically the two wire uh, trellis system would be the best system. So easier to, to observe and interact and treat as appropriately early on in, in the disease process, much easier to protect from birds, and certainly much easier to harvest as well. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you have comments or questions, please leave them below. And by all means, folks, by all means, folks, have a fantastic day. Bye-bye now.